guys so another video another episode more time that it's gonna be enjoyable if you think about it right so this episode i'm going to be putting in some rear deck lights they're not actually going to be deck lights they're just going to be like little modules so we're going to use set ones already picked out so over here lights this uh generic light pack so if you actually look this is what yours click in nutter that's what yours is going to look like when you download them off lspdfr i just uv map the texture to make it look more better looking per se if that makes sense let's go back to move these great now let's import da <laughs> right so i've just got a single module it's humongous i don't understand why people don't make them smaller but we're just gonna go in lower scale and these quickly it's obnoxiously bigger than the car just gonna quickly reset the view so it's gonna be easier for me to see Go ahead and downscale these. Still way too big. I think that's pretty good there. So now we're gonna go ahead and move it. So these are gonna be like rear lights since they have the um what are they called? Little like suction cups. We're just gonna make sure they're not poking at the glass. Like that they're still poking out an inch out. Right there. So if we put the charger down here, which is them. My personal opinion, it's still way too big looking and bulky. So we're just gonna. I think that looks good there. So what I'm gonna align it up with is the left side of the mirror. Then I'll put the other on the right side. Just things like that. You can figure out where you wanna align them to. So the bubble suction cap thing, my bobs. Uh, is that still out of tad? Yeah, so we're gonna just move it back an inch. Alright, so that looks good. So now we're just gonna go ahead and create a copy of this. And let me turn this one off. And now we basically just move it to the other side. Now we turn the other one on. We'll put charger down here. You can tell they look good. So, simple as that. So now what we want to do is put this here <clears throat> are these yes these are actual module parts so the cylinder 001 is the actual lights itself so we want to just attach everything other than those lights so excuse me got it now we just want to attach this one great uh, now I'm just going to call these misc something I'm just going to call it miss one because why not Create the copies as stated before. I'm going to LO them to L3. Some goods of that. Just quickly go through and do these. LO, a one, two, and three. Alright, so now what we're going to do is set these up properly. So what I'm going to actually do is same, basically exactly the same as setting up a light bar, visor bar, uh, external lights, etc. It's pretty simple to do. So, oh, just, I love when it freezes. You see what it looks like. It's the best thing out there. So, right, let's put this. Remember, make sure you never go in front of the light. It looks like right here. Looks like the module itself. Yeah. So we're just gonna chuck it here. Seems like a decent spot to put it. That will be hiding behind the mesh. So that's fine. Should do it for this side too. Boom. So now we just figure out one spot. So there and then there. All right. Since these are rear ones, we're gonna do siren three and siren four. If it wants to actually, that'd be a might. Siren three, four. All right. <clears throat> and you do your basic stuff as stated before. I'm just gonna quickly confirm these both are the dummies. Yes, they are. Select them, deselect by holding control, and like you normally would select like this, just deselect them. Or the dummies, not the mesh. Reset the parent. Turn your pivot off, and you're going to scale to your point 0.1, so 0 0.1. And boom, so they've gone into the dummy. Now we create the LOs. Boom, boom. 
So we do LO, L1, 2, 3. And we do the exact same for Siren 4. So that's basically the light setup for the rear. So now what we want to go ahead and do is make sure your emissive is above. So what it actually looks like is these are meshes. So I'm going to set these to interior too so that they're decent looking. There we go. Even better. Uh, hang on. And we're just going to go ahead and throw this up here. So the light's emissive is the light bar. The emiss is the um, visor bar. And then this one is the rear deck lights. So, simple as that, I'm going to throw these in the hierarchy. I normally don't have these as an extra, but at this minute, they're set up perfectly fine. But if you want it as an extra, we go ahead and do it. We're going to call it extra, extra three. And you just create a box up here, as stated, just make sure it's decently, over, uh, decently sized. Boom. Do it for this one. Great. Just put it to the Y axis. Boom. Boom. Now we want to line these up more. Just make sure the pivot's off when scaling. Just my personal preference. So then they don't move. Great. Now we're going to attach the two boxes together. Like that. So now we want to go ahead and throw these in here. Grab this box. Throw it in extra three. Copy the name extra three, or just write it out, and then add open bracket, col, close bracket. Put this above the sirens. Then you click off all LOs, click the col, and convert to compound on the collision. So now that is set up as a extra. Simple as that. I'm gonna go ahead and export it, set it up in game, and I'll be back in a minute. So stating again for you guys, make sure you are adding the textures. So I'm gonna go back here. I actually didn't use the light textures, so I don't need to select them on here. I want to go to my lib2 and put the lib2 most rights 4. Remember, always double check that you put the textures in, because if you forget that, your lights don't work. So we'll make this load. <coughs> now we're just going to go check the back here. See so the main textures working, and I can see the blue light there. So it means it's working. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and get in game, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Alright, we're in game, we'll go ahead and spawn it. Spawn into charger as stated. So everything else is working. Great. So as you can see, everything is working. It's all iffy. Looks good. As good as can be. So if you look, you can see them on the rear day. Looks like car course mismatch, but that's fine. So one thing that's actually different as you can see one is all, well they're both all blue, and that's, so I'm just going to change that, that's nothing I'm going to show on camera because I already showed that in the previous video, but um, yeah, pretty simple to do, so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button, and uh, yeah, enjoy guys.